In this tutorial, I will show you how to administer the exam and then we will look into the student's view of the exam and lastly, the management of the answer scripts after the exam is done. This is the exam key which you need to give to the students. So what I do is I will let the students know on that morning of the exam or 10 minutes before the exam, the exam key. Imagine that now we are ready for the exam and we have given the exam key to the students. The students can access the exam using a laptop or a PC, an iPad, a tablet, or even just using a handphone. The students will not be able to access the paper until you open the paper. Now I will show you from the side of the student what will they see as they enter the exam.net platform. We are now in the student's view. The students who were given the exam key earlier will now key in the exam key. The students will now key in their particulars, the one that we have set earlier on. The students will now be led to an exam waiting area. They will not be able to access the exam paper until you open the exam in the teacher's control panel. Now we are back in the teacher's view. And once you are ready to start the exam, you can click to toggle on to open the exam paper. The students can now begin the exam. The students will also have control over the exam paper. For example, they can choose the different layouts, the side-by-side -side layout, or the top and bottom layout. They can click on the calculator so that the calculator will appear. Now, the students can type in the answers in the spaces provided. The students are also given some simple editing tool. Now I'm going to show you how a student can scan his or her solution into the exam paper. This feature is very good for those students who may not have a laptop at home. They can choose to write the answer on a piece of paper and then scan their answer to be uploaded into the exam paper. All the students need to do is to scan the QR code given using the handphone. And then they will be asked to scan the answers or the solution to be uploaded into the exam paper. The students now use the camera to take a photo of their solution and click OK to upload the answers. At the end of the upload, the students will be given a code to enter into their paper to ensure that it's the right solution that they have entered in. The students can also resize the answers and also align them as they wish. During the exam, if a student encounter any problem, he or she can talk to the teacher by clicking on the tab Teacher's Chat. You will be notified that there will be a student trying to contact you. During the exam, if the students intentionally or unintentionally get out of the browser, the exam will be locked. This is where the student will need to provide an explanation and request for the paper to be unlocked before they can continue on their paper. All the movements in and out of the paper as well as the explanation will be recorded by the system. This option of unlocking for 30 minutes is optional. You have a choice to choose how the system should react when a student has lost focus in the exam paper. And once everything is ready, the student can click Submit Exam. Now we are back to the teacher's desktop 
under the Surveillance or Results tab. While the students are having the exam, you will be managing the exam from this desktop. As you can see on the left, you will have a number of students taking the exam and as you go through each of the students, you are able to see the answers as they are typing in. In certain cases where the students have been completely locked out of the exam, you can give them this exam key, which is an individual exam key for them to resume the exam. Once we have finished the exam, we can now look at how to manage all the answer script submitted by the students. I will now show you a real example when I gave the students a topical test to just a few weeks ago. Here, as you can see, the topical test to for my Bible knowledge class. So as you can see, there are 57 students who have started exam and 57 have submitted the exam. What are all these tabs down here? Let me go through them quickly. During the exam, you can force submission for students. For example, yeah, if the students is over time, you can force the submission. Once you click here, then the students will have to click Submit Exam. The second tab is a set timer for students. You can choose to set a timer. The timer here serves only as a reminder. It will not force the student to submit the paper unless you do so. Number three is the individual exam key. For example, if there are certain students who need to resit for the same paper or they need to resume the paper, you can just click on any of them. For example, this student and the student will be given a code like this. And if the student is given this code, the students can then resume his or her paper. These two tabs, don't worry about them. These are the, uh, the anonymous identities. As for now, we have uh, all the students to have their own identity. So there's nothing to be worried about on this one. If there is a need for you to filter student students, you can do that here. Filter on teacher or class. The second line of tabs here are the different ways where you can manage the exam scripts. For example, if you click on print, you will be able to print all the answers of the different students. For example, this student have chose to take a photo of his or her work. You are able to then do a bit of setting as in the line spacing, the font size, margins and date and or, di or double-sided print and once you're happy, you click print and it can come up from your printer. Second, you can download all the files. This will download Word files directly to your computer. They are put in the usual folder for downloads. One file per student will be created. Next is download PDF. You are able to make all the students' answer script into a PDF file. As you can see now, it is one PDF file that has got all the students' work in there. Exam.net should not be used as a digital long-time archive. Instead, you can print or save digital copies to save in your usual archive. What happens here is that you can save it as a zip file and you can keep all the answer script in your computer as a zip file for archiving in the future. You can also send copies of the exam script and the answer script to the student's email. Another good feature here is that exam.net can also generate all the answer script and put it inside Google Drive for you. Once you click on Upload, you can see it then now in your Google Drive. And if you go to My Drive, you should be able to see exam.net in here. Click on exam.net 
and it should be one of these folders here where all the answer script will then be in the names of each of the student in a document, a Google Doc file. For those of you who use OneDrive, which is something similar to Google Drive, it can do the same too. We have come to the end of this tutorial. Perhaps some of you may want to consider using this platform for your future exams. It is reliable and secure, and also it is super easy to access for students. The surveillance room has many features where we can use to monitor the students and he has a lot of flexibility. I hope you find this video tutorial helpful. Please give us your comments or even questions on how you are doing with exam.net or some difficulties that you are going through so that we can continue to uh, come up with more tutorial videos like this to help each other along the way. Alright, thank you.